Hello everybody and welcome back to Typical City. Joao Cancelo is one step closer to exiting Manchester City Football Club. Kyle Walker, what is going on with that? Because those rumours just do not seem to go away. And Elise has been given a release clause. An official release clause has been announced and we'll get into that. But first... Let's start with João Cancelo. I mean, ultimately, this is a player that needed to leave the club. Too many things had gone on with João that it's just such a negative environment that the guy was creating. It's personal terms, though. That's what's been agreed with Barcelona. Manchester City and Barcelona haven't agreed anything between the two clubs. But Barcelona themselves and Cancelo, the player, have agreed terms. So, you at this point, you're questioning how... Is the deal going to be agreed? What type of deal is it going to be? Is it going to be a permanent fee or are we talking a loan fee? Uh, and at this point, does it matter? Does it matter to City? Because the the player is creating a toxic environment by being around players that are in a club that he doesn't want to be there. Pep doesn't want him around there. He's obviously spat his dummy out and thrown his toys out of the pram complaining about not getting enough minutes last season, then going away to Bayern Munich and publicly speaking about his desires to win a Champions League match against Manchester City. His current employer at the time, albeit you're on loan, I respect that you you just don't say anything in that situation. You'd rather just say no comment in that situation. To be respectful of both clubs, you just stay out of the firing line. Don't get involved in that conversation. Respect City and respect Bayern. And, and then maybe the, you've burned your bridges by doing this. So the problem is the player. It is a it is a quality quality player. So I th I still think there will be a minority of City fans that would prefer to keep Cancelo just a, as a as an option to bring some creativity and a spark to a game where we're needing a bit of creativity and a spark. I mean, if you look at his figures of last season between the two clubs, it's City got two goals and five assists, and I think that was across fourteen appearances, and then I think he made about. 17 appearances at Bayern Munich and got one goal and six assists. So, for a fullback, they're not bad. They're not bad at all. Creativity has never been in question when we talk about Cancelo. The year before that, 52 appearances at City, three goals and 10 assists. You're getting into midfielder territory with those numbers. And as much as I want the player gone, I have to say thank you for everything that he did do. That season in particular, the 21 22 season, he was incredible. He played really well. Some really good football from Cancelo. A couple of moments that let us down that, I mean, they've echoed through his career, really, in terms of defensive mistakes, namely those two last season that have really stuck with me because it was just suicide defending, stupid moments. Giving away that penalty when Edison's coming out to win the ball against Fulham at the Etihad, gives away the penalty, gets himself sent off. We go 1-0 down and... We win the game thanks to an Erling Haaland last-minute penalty and we turn the game round thanks to Erling Haaland and the rest of the other 10 players that he left on the pitch through his nonsensical defending, outrageously poor defending. This even worse defending was at Anfield where he lunges in on Mo Salah on the halfway line as the last man. It's just not good enough, that. It's just not good enough from a defensive point of view. But going forward, the guy was incredible. So a, a huge, huge, some amazing moments, some amazing goals that he scored for us, some incredible assists, namely that one um, by Munich in the, like, the 86th minute with the outside of the foot, just whips it in. Haaland made that cross look even better by his sheer agility and athleticism to get up with the outside of his left boot, which was like higher than anyone else's head. And Haaland just puts it into the, to the far corner from a Cancelo cross. So you know what the guy's capable of and I, we have to respect what he's done at the club um, and he does deserve a thank you, um, but time to go. Time to go. See you later now. Too much has happened. Too many. Too much water has gone under that bridge now, you know, and uh, it's it's like, and you've burnt that bridge. There's no coming back. There's no coming back for him now. The question is, what does City do? Loan fee? Would you accept a loan? I personally would. Get him off the books. Make it simple. Uh, accept the squad that we've got, even though there's probably going to be a few new additions added to the squad before the transfer window. At least one, I would say. Um, with Cancelo gone, I don't think he needs replacing. 
the system is makes him surplus to requirements at that point. That's the issue for him, and I think that's why he kicked off last season because he was left in a situation where he's well, where do I fit in? And you don't, mate. You sit there, you wait patiently, and you bide your time. You work hard in training and try and prove to the to the manager that there may be a position for you. And at some part of the season, we may call upon you and very much need you. We may even play you in the Mares role. We may even play you further advanced up the field. Maybe, maybe, who knows? But instead, you recognise the situation wasn't in your favour very quickly. And just as quickly, you spat your dummy out and you stormed out of training, apparently threw a ball at Pep, had a hissy fit. Yeah, it's job done. See you later. And I mean, there's no coincidence that City decided to get rid of him in January like that. Like that. He was gone. Do you know what I mean? So at that point, I was almost certain he's finished. At that point, you know, for, and to see him at pre-season surprised me. And I think that just goes to show how uh, commendable uh, Pep Guardiola as a person and as a manager actually is because he's given him minutes. I think he knew from the get-go that this guy's going, but he gave him minutes and that get, rose the question for City fans now. Who... It, it, where is he going to lie at the end of this transfer market? Is he going to be a City player? We Even I started to question, like, hang on a minute. And, and One of the performances against Bayern Munich, he was really good. He came on and was really, really good. Je defensively as well. That's the part that stood out to me, was how good he was at, at def the defending side of the game. Tackling uh, numerous situations, he killed counter-attacks. So, now, uh, at that point, you're thinking, oh God, what do we do now? It left the City fans in limbo, but... I think Pep knew all along that he's done, he's finished at that point, which is just a, a, another accolade of, of Pep Guardiola's personality and uh, persona as a manager, that he's just allowing a player to still get minutes even though he's fallen out with him. Um, and he's, you do hear players, Ibrahimovic, Chateau, has numerous players have spoken badly about Pep Guardiola because they've left the club and he's fallen out with them due to them not getting the minutes or them not fitting Pep's style of play. And they badmouth him. But there you go. <laughs> Who's the bad guy in this situation? The one who spat his dummy out and because he wasn't playing? Or the one who said, you can come back and, and have a pre-season with us? Who's the bad guy in that situation? Come on. It's, it's a no-brainer. But anyway, moving on to other news. Kyle Walker. Now, yesterday I spoke about I told you so with Gvardial. Now, all summer I've been saying that Kyle Walker will stay. And... I doubled down on that statement when I when he was given the captain's armband for the third preseason game in a row. Every preseason game, that's following Florian Plettenberg's comments from Sky Sports Germany, who suggested, didn't suggest, stated that Kyle Walker will not be playing against Bayern Munich. He will not be playing. And there you go, on the team sheet, starting 11, captain's armband as well, to put the cherry on the cake of what Pep thinks of Kyle Walker. Captain's armband. And he got to lift the trophy. Um, well, pre-season trophy, but, you know, trophy's a trophy. It is if you're Spurs. But um, ultimately, Walker, for me at that point, was staying, and I doubled down on that statement. This could be a case of anyone else who thought I was wrong saying, I told you so, Johnny. God, you got that one wrong, didn't you? So maybe I am, because the rumours are growing. They're not going away, at least. Maybe not growing. Sam Lee says Walker has rejected a new contract. This was as of uh, yesterday. And Bayern and City discussed a deal in Japan, but there is no resolution in sight. So it's still a maybe, and it's still, I don't know, that, that statement doesn't really add anything. It seems like a recycled statement from Sam Lee to say these things, that that wasn't news when he said it was news. That was, it seems like, recycled information that Bayern and City discussed a deal in Japan. It seems obvious. No resolution in sight. That's good news, because personally, I would rather keep Kyle Walker. The other stipulation that's come with it, that Sam Lee also suggested, that they won't actually look for a replacement, because we believe that Akanji, Stones, Rico Lewis, can all play in that particular role. Yeah, I understand that, but there, uh, the, the main issue that I know most of you are going to come at with is can Rico Lewis, John Stones or Akanji stop Kylian Mbappe, Vinicius Jr., the speedy players, Marcus Rashford, there's numerous players that we'll come up against. Not every game, that's the thing, not every game. We won't come up against them every game. So to keep Kyle Walker just for like a handful of games, it depends how much it's, is it cost effective? And I mean, at this point, at the end of the year, he's going to go on a free 
and the fee is rumoured, was rumoured to be 13 million. So no wonder City didn't agree a deal. No resolution in sight. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. 13 million, you can jog on with that. Absolutely no chance, 13 million. Because of Kyle Walker's value to the team, not his value on the marketplace, to the team in particular, how much he means to City and what he does for our systems when we're playing against the likes of Vinicius Jr. And it's worth the 13 million. It's worth just not getting that and keeping the player. So from a cost-effective point of view, it's worth keeping Kyle Walker for the season and letting him go on a free. Who knows, maybe he'll pick up a major injury and he is that stage of his career that legs will slow down and when his speed is gone, he isn't going to be that player who can keep going into his mid to late 30s. And there's no sign of that happening anytime soon. But you never know. At that age, speed, it deteriorates. It's a natural form of life, unfortunately. We all have to accept it. Um, and, and Walker will eventually lose that speed. And that is probably 60, 70% of his game, his speed, you know? So you, you, you're hoping that we can keep him for a year, get every last drop of energy out of those legs, though that speed that he's got, get everything we can out of that situation, and then let him go on a free to Bayern Munich where he isn't going to be as quick. That would be the most ideal situation. From a professionalism point of view, if he doesn't want to sign a contract, I can see him putting on the City shirt and still giving 110%. Regardless of him not extending his contract, he's just planning for his future, looking ahead, saying, yeah, I, I, maybe in a year's time. Because people say he's won it all. He hasn't. He hasn't won the Super Cup. He hasn't won the Club World Cup. He's got things to do. Checklists need ticking at the end of this season. There's two trophies that he has not won that he has to win. That he can do that this season with City. So for me, it makes sense for him to stay, go on a free at the end of the year. City will allow that. 13 million, joke, absolute joke. But yeah, anyway, moving on to other news. Elise, release clause confirmed at £35 million. That is the statement. That's the big headline for this particular transfer. Uh, it's not a saga yet, is it? But um, Chelsea are also interested. But at £35 million, you look at Doku and Rafinha... My opinion's been swayed to Elise at that price because 35 mil million for a player of that age, the, the potential he's got, the ability that he currently has needs improving. It definitely needs improving because there is elements to his game that are weak. I think his right foot is almost non-existent. He needs to sharpen up with his ability to stop always cutting onto his left and being so predictable. Use your right foot, mate. Get on that right foot more often. Not seeing that enough. Um, goals as well, he needs to add goals to his game, back post, tap-ins, you know, Pat Guardiola, integrated, Sterling and Sane, the amount of goals those two would get as wingers just from mopping up the back post, you know, the, the, coming in late, back post, hard and low crosses, tapping from a couple yards out, the amount of times that Sterling and Sane would do that type of, even Mares would, would get the odd tap-in and, and, and Foden on the other side, we've seen it from crosses bypassing everybody, back post can kill teams. Um, and he needs to add that to his game, get goals to his game, because assists doesn't seem to be a problem. His crossing ability looks delicious, absolutely sublime crosses that he can whip in. Little dinky ones, you know, ones that just skip the head of that centre-back, but have such a nice trajectory that it drops right into the place of the uh, centre-forward, which in our case will be a goal-scoring machine called Erling Haaland. So it could prove to be a good signing, but... Um, the reason why I think it would be a good signing is that £35 million release clause. That just makes sense to me. Now, from a business point of view, this deal sounds like the best one. Rafinha it sounds expensive. Doku's got more of a risk because he's more raw and he's, he's got potential, but it, and he offers something different. That's why I still like Doku. He does offer something different than any player that we've been linked with or any player that we actually have in the squad right now in terms of take-on ability. But Elise now is... is slowly becoming my favourite for the replacement for Riyad Mahrez because of that £35 million release clause. And Fabrizio Romano, this has all come from, by the way, all this information is from Fabrizio. Um, the only left that stipulation that's left from this is concerns over his injuries. Now, I don't know how a medical actually takes place. Every club, in terms of I don't know, I don't know how City operate with their medicals. We have signed injured players before, and uh, and probably ignored that aspect of the medical, especially if it's a, a grade three tear, which is Elise has got, which is certainly going to keep him off the treadmill, you know. But there could be there's, there's so many other aspects to medicals: your vision, your your, your lung capacity, and um, any any your skeleton 
the structure, every little detail is looked at by most clubs. Every club does it differently. Um, so obviously there has to be some leeway in that, considering he, his injury is going to carry into maybe even October. You know, we could be missing the first couple of months of the season if we sign this guy. So he comes with a caveat of an injury. Um, but apparently the deal is going to be resolved within the next week. So exciting times if you're a City fan right now. Gvardiol deal sounds incredibly likely. Um, Cancelo gone. I think that's good news. A bad egg. Get that bad apple out of the cart. Walker, that's a worry for me. I would like to keep him. And with no news of a replacement coming in, City keeping the idea of Rico Lewis, Stones, Akanji. There's no speed in those three names, is there? That's the issue. Um, Elise, £35 million. Sounds like a more appealing deal with that price. Really good deal at that price. Will it happen though? Will City pay the release clause? Blues, get in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Like and subscribe. Typical City is the channel and I'll see you in the next one. This is Typical City.